What's up everybody? Doing a mix video. Last week of MSF kind of, there's a little bit that went on, not a ton, but got the blog today and there's a couple things in there. I'm like, you know what, those are almost video worthy all by themselves. So let's do some news in lesson 15 with the focus on that. So what is the scuttlebutt? Anybody hear anything? First off, shout out to the OG podcast and crew. They had Dismal on this week. They were talking about a number of different topics. I highly recommend that podcast if you have not checked it out. They were talking about ISO 8 a bit. Dismal really was talking about how the system was a lot better than what it originally designed as. I have to agree with that. They really did do a great job there. And you want to give them credit for the fact that they probably spent about a year on that. Got a bunch of negative feedback from the testers and kind of scrapped it to an extent on something they took so long on and then they went over to a kind of a new system which seems to be a lot better and most people seem to be enjoying. If you haven't checked out, did a video on the ISO 8 Basics a collaboration with Punk and Yeti. So check out that infographic, check out that video. We try to do something that explains the super, super basic stuff outside of all these unless under if you're this but under this ability and you're with this person and you're labeled this and they're labeled that then it would apply vulnerable then it would cover a little bit of that but you know and then yes we got a frequently asked questions type thing okay i think there are still a lot of things that can be done to make that a little bit less confusing and complicated like just making it apply but whatever that's not me so anyway, also talked about another video, staying on that ISO 8 topic, about bottlenecks. And how I think a lot of people are going to, if you haven't already realized them, they're going to be smacking you in the face soon. Especially once this initial milestone event is over, which is going to happen here in the near future. So that's the ISO 8 hit. Next up was Symbiote Spider-Man came to the milestone orbs a little bit late. So a bunch of people opened... A bunch of orbs for them, um, thinking that the higher rates were in there or whatever was changed. And then it flipped. And so it's kind of like, well, wait a minute. It was supposed to be 70 and I opened when it was 30? Uh, who knows what Scopely is going to do? I, you know, there's always the potential for compensation. You've got the people who could argue, well, I, I needed Colson and then, but I wanted Symbiote. But now the people who max Symbiote need Colson. And who knows how it's going to shake out? I don't know if. People who opened are going to get more Symbiote. People who didn't open are going to get more Colson or nothing. Who knows, right? So I know after they had the Emma Frost Red Star debacle, they gave the people who opened the orbs the five Red Stars. So if they do that again, where you if you open orbs early and they get a good reward, I guarantee anytime I'm screwed up in the future, everybody's just going to open orbs. They're just going to do whatever it is and be like, I'm going to get something. And that's going to be the time scope. He's like, oh, well, sorry, that was your fault. And everyone's going to be so upset we got the domino blitz predictions this week now this is a character you should all be trying to max because you know since she's been given that automatic hidden taunt anytime you're using x-force and war offense i don't know if you knew that but there's invisible taunt on her above her head so she's the first one to always die every single time no matter what so that res deadpool dy dynamic never does anything anyway so you need her strong so we'll see if these uh predictions come to fruition you know they're decently high you know, 15, 16-ish mil, you know, 30 for that top 100 if you don't have her four reds yet. We'll see. I know I want to try to get some shards on her. I definitely like those hundreds. I think I'm still quite a bit away from seven stars, so I don't know. I'll definitely push for 100 shards. No, I won't push for the four reds in the top 100. Kind of a hilarious gaffe in the coding, which Yeti and I were talking about earlier today, is that if you leave Ghost Rider's basic at level three, it's probably the hard, one of the hardest hitting abilities in the entire game. Because the way it's coded, if you can see the kind of the code over there, I'll try to zoom into, the percent's 955. I think what happened is someone was typing and hit 95 and then hit the 5 twice. But the truth is, is how many people left Ghost Rider at level 3. So if you haven't leveled Ghost Rider's basic past level 3, don't. Leave it at level 3 and you are going to hit hard. It's going to be pretty hilarious. Similar, uh, Yo-Yo's assists. Another coding situation where she clears like a thousand positive effects. Now, getting her to assist is 
kind of complicated. You know, talking about that you could Nick Fury type thing. But uh, anyway, if you get it to happen, the po the clear the positive effect clear is going to be monstrous. So do that if you want to try. Suggestion of the week: Chef Crando again from the OG podcast chatting about alliance leader help this is something that i've seen a lot all over the place whether it's in conversations i'm having in my brain with myself or conversations with other people it's being an alliance leader is hard it takes a lot of work a lot of management and sometimes you try to depending how competitive things are if you're in a even slightly competitive alliance you want to make sure you, you got to track and poke and all these things so the more tools the alliance leaders have in this game to either track things or recruit things or make messages or whatever, I think the better off the alliance, the alliance leader will be, and therefore the alliance, and therefore the state of the game, because people are happier. So anyway, great suggestion, some discussion from Chef Crondo. What do you say, Scopes? Do it, do something. So I was uh, actually done with recording and editing and you can tell I'm wearing a different shirt in the middle of this so the editing is going to be kind of wonky so that's hence the breaking news right and we got a data mine here that was like okay I was like man I don't really need to cover this I don't think some double draining modes da -da -da, some villain stuff some da -da 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 -da, anti venom he's coming great some more double tr double training nodes which honestly that's great that's fantastic um more blog, top villains for this poll. So you're going to get out this special login for Scream, Zemo, Taskmaster, Proxima Midnight, which those four are great. Love that. I'm going to recruit Captain Marvel in these regular orbs. Fine. That's awesome. Prepare for Halloween is the part where I was kind of like, I read it and I didn't think much of it because I'm like, eh, it's probably not what I'm going to be thinking it is. And uh, I had a conversation with some folks and uh, they were like, are people who gonna who already finished dark dimension 3 not gonna get this and people who haven't done it and then do it later gonna get double so what this says is due to the impressive performance in dark dimension 3 you will not see the upcoming halloween prep calendar as you receive the calendar 64 gold promotion credits in advance earlier this year in july thank you for playing marvel strike force so 64 gold promotion credits you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit not sure how to take this yet because I don't know exactly what it's saying and what it means. I, I know as I read it first, I was like, no, they're not gonna let people double dip. They're not. There's just, that would, people will riot, you know, riot. We will virtually riot and go to yet it, Reddit, yet it. Too much Yeti on my mind. Uh, and, you know, I'm like, there's, they're not gonna give one part of the population double what somebody else gets, especially something that's like a gold promotion credit. And then someone's like, are you sure? I'm like, well, no, I'm not sure. And so anyway, I'm just, I'm here to say that Scopely, don't do that. Like, make sure that the population gets equal because if you don't do that, it causes problems. As you can see with like orb mishaps and all kinds of stuff like that. So anyway, that's the reason I'm going through, now that I'm here, I'll go through the rest of this. Um, you know, that's the 64 gold promo promotion credits. And again, Here's upcoming ca calendar with October in full swing. That means Halloween is upon us. To prepare for the scariest day of the year, log in for 14 days and you get 64 gold promotion credits. Great. So that's for Halloween. Nothing to do Dark Dimension 3, anything. So, I, you know, I don't know. Just, Scopely, please don't. You're going to get a, a loud group of people complaining if you don't make sure that people can't double dip. Everyone should be equal in that regard. Moving on. And then there's just this roster trait, mass caper. It's probably gonna be for the event is what I'm guessing. So anyway, back to the whatever I had already in the video. All right, last but not least, the blog. Like I mentioned, I wanna kinda talk a little bit about this one, so I'm leaving this for last. So first up, Emma Frost coming back in the reoccurring milestones. Hopefully you've already been saving your gold for this. If you haven't, you got a little bit of time, I guess. I'm probably not gonna do enough to make a dent, but if you haven't, um, start saving at least for a few days when she comes back. Now, the part that's interesting here is this section here. All three reoccurring milestones will also receive an ISO 8 update. That in itself is amazing. Thank you, some ISO 8. That's great. And this starts with the next Emma Frost iteration, which isn't given a specific date. 
And even up here, it's, it just says she's coming back, right? We 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 will be removing some mile some milestone orb fragments and replacing them with basic T1 ISO orb fragments. That part is going to get a bunch of attention already and in the next few days and on Reddit. Reason being is one, we've already got the symbiote mile symbiote Spider-Man Spider-Man symbiote milestone orb situation that people were upset about. Now you're taking milestone orb fragments away from people. That's how they're going to view this and replace them with ISO-8. Now, depending on where you're at with Symbiote, Spider-Man is probably going to determine how you feel about this. I could see those who are not maxed with him being upset, especially those who got doubly bent over by opening a bunch of orbs early. And now this, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to get Symbiote Spider-Man or it's going to be more difficult. So pay attention to people being frustrated by that. Definitely see it. We got Star-Lord coming back for the Legendary. That's fantastic. Blitzes. We've got Pyro, and then we've got She-Hulk right after that. So Pyro earlier in the week, She-Hulk later. Um, She-Hulk's probably going to be one of the lower predictions for new characters. Again, unless some people find something crazy happening in war in the next five days or so. But still, even then, I think she's worth a win or so, and that's probably about it. You've got your typical bonus events because the Payday Flash event's coming back. So this time it is the Mercs that are gonna get that double drop. And that's it. That is it. Again, I was elaborating on this stuff at the top about the reoccurring milestones. I could see where people are gonna be frustrated by this. It is unfortunate. I am in a situation where I do have Symbiote Spider-Man, seven stars. So I'm trying to put my, my, my brain in a place where someone else is gonna be at. And I get it, I get it. I think before you quit or anything like that, let's see what Scopely does as far as the compensation for the Symbiote Spider-Man or Milestone or Mishap. You know, we do want our ISO 8s. That's the thing. We need those crystals. That that video I talked about earlier about those ISO 8 crystal or the ISO 8 bottlenecks, crystals are a big one. You run out of those crystals quick. So getting more and more of those is advantageous. And yes, Symbiote Spider-Man we all want him at higher stars but if you look at it it's like that's one character versus getting the iso 8 crystals that you can put on a bunch of different characters and if i have the option of really caring about one character getting stronger versus making a whole bunch of characters stronger i'm gonna pick the whole bunch of characters even if that one character is as strong as symbiote spider-man because i want to get some isos on my raid team or my war teams but you know i don't want to blow through crystals like crazy so that helps that effort so I don't, you know, I'm not trying to be, you know, a shill here for Scopely or anything like that. It is upsetting. I don't like that they did this. It would have been nice if they just added ISO 8s to later tiers or something in these milestone events or periodically on top of it. <sighs> yeah, so especially since we know that these milestone orbs are going to be changing seasonally now. I get it. So let's see what shakes out, how they, what they do with it. Uh, hopefully this quick recap and this specific thing kind of, you know, helped cover some stuff for you. Like I said, I wanted to kind of get into this, talk to you about Emma coming to the milestones, talk about the fact that some milestone orb fragments are removed, getting removed, and the fact that the, the milestone orbs are going to be seasonal. It's kind of like, so less chance to get Sp Symbiote Spider-Man in the orb, and the orb's only going to be seasonal. All right, cool. So anyway, I've complained enough at this point. I appreciate you guys coming by. I hope it's brought you something in a recap. I know this is a little bit different than the ones I normally do. I was actually going to skip this week because there wasn't a whole lot to it. And I was like, oh, well, this blog's got some juicy stuff in it, so let's hit it. If you want to come chat further, there is a link to the Discord in the description below. Hammer down on that like button. Click that notification bell, subscription button, all that kind of stuff. Join the group. We love to chat. We got Q&As coming, all kinds of good stuff. So anyway, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.